So I didn't see any of the warning signs for being um, a, a possible trafficking victim. I didn't make the connections of the red flags at all. A lot of people ask me, how did you go from this wonderful, beautiful family to being a victim of trafficking? How did you get involved in that? My easiest answer for that would be, I was very vulnerable. Um, I had very low self-esteem. I was very depressed. I was already recovering from a lot of abuse that I had been through in the past not specifically family or anything, but with different relationships I had already been in, they weren't healthy relationships with my dating history. I also was dating the guy who was my first trafficker. We were boyfriend and girlfriend. And then to anyone watching this who is currently being trafficked, um, I just want you to know that there is help out there. Um, we are working, so many in the community are working to help rescue you. And I just want you to know that you are not forgotten, that you are very much loved, and we really want to help you get out of this industry. So please reach out to someone and know that if it's not safe to, we are definitely going to be there for you. And lastly, I just want to end on saying that there is hope. Hold on to hope. It is so important and so valuable. I know that there have been a lot of horrible things, but hope. It's so important and it can be such a beautiful thing. So there's always hope.